Happy Tuesday, everybody. So it's Tuesday morning, and I'm getting ready to head off to work. I took Brantley to school. He's feeling much better, guys. I don't know what it is. I guess it's Brantley being in school or something. This year being the first year he's in school, that this sickness just won't go away in this house. Like, I don't get it. We never used to get sick at all. Like, maybe once a year, if that. And now it's like, it won't go away. So Sunday night, you know, before I, he took a bath at 8 o'clock like he always does. And then um, around 8.30, well, he, he was kind of not feeling good at all. all day. Let me take that back. He was not feeling good. We had went to, what did we do Sunday? I think when we, yeah, at the grocery store. He wasn't feeling good at the grocery store. He kept saying that he was tired and that's normally not like him. And so when we got home, we were putting the groceries up, and he went and laid down. And um, I went in there, and I felt him, and he was a little warm, so I went ahead and gave him some Tylenol. And he just laid around all day, and I was like, Lord, please don't tell me he's getting sick. Well, sure enough, I mean, he was acting fine and stuff. Um, and then he took a bath, and then when around 8.30, I checked him again, and he was just burning up. And so, I gave him ibuprofen because I was, you know, rotating it. And from, I want to say, 8.30 till 6.30 in the morning, I mean, it literally was like 101.7 all night long. I, I was like, I, I'm going to end up having to take him to the hospital. Like, I know I am. But finally, it broke. Um, he didn't get no sleep. I didn't get no sleep because I was just up worried about him. Like, I had to make sure, keep checking him and giving his medicine and stuff. So he went to his nana's yesterday and now he's feeling better, but it just worries me when his fever gets like, I mean, I know it worries all moms, but I'm just glad that he's feeling better. I just don't understand what it is. I'm like, is it because he's in school and just all the germs from all the kids or whatever? If your kids are sick, don't send them to school to get everybody else sick. So he's been fever free for 24 hours. He's not, there's nothing else that was wrong. As far as like, he wasn't no runny nose or, or anything like that. He just had that fever. So I'm glad he's feeling better. I hate to see my baby, um, you know, not feeling good and having that fever and stuff. But I think we're gonna do a pizza tonight for dinner because I finally found, I've been looking for the, the, uh, the DiGiorno pan pizzas and I've finally found one. I found one in Supreme. <clears throat> that's the only one I could find. But I was like, that's fine. That's fine. I like Supreme. Um, so, I think I'm going to make that tonight. And then I've got a video. I'm going to be making a chicken pot pie, which I know y'all seen my chicken pot pie before. But this one is going to be a special twist for Halloween. So, I'm probably going to, I'm going to try to make it this week because I want to go ahead and make it before Halloween. That way if anybody else wants to make it, you know, they'll have time to make it before Halloween or on Halloween. Um, so I will um, be posting that video here soon. And I hope you guys, you guys have a great Tuesday and I will see you guys later on today. Hey guys. So this is not my house. This is just the house that I clean and I'm going to show you how I clean a kitchen. And I'm going to start with the microwave. And I just have like a heavy duty that I use. is like a um it's a degreaser so it works really good getting stuff off of the stove or in the microwave um any places where there's grease or something tough a tough spot to get up it works really well pushing buttons Now 
once I get everything wiped down and cleaned, of course your rag is wet, so it leaves, um, you know, lint behind. So I always go back after wiping everything that is wet um, with a dry, clean rag. That way you don't leave any kind of lint or anything behind. Now, of course, with your stainless steel appliances, you're going to use the stainless steel cleaner. But first, I'm going to go ahead and clean off the top of this stove. And there's some like burn on food on here. So, I have a pumice stone, and it will not scratch your uh, surface. And you're just going to kind of scrape that up. And it breaks it right up to where everything comes off without scratching up anything. Those are really good too for, um, you know, if you've got spills or whatever inside of your oven and it's hard to come up, just take some, um, some kind of degreaser or oven cleaner or whatever you prefer. Spray it on there, let it sit for a minute, and then take a pumice stone and go at it, and that stuff will come right up. I'll do a video on that at my house because I've got to clean my oven. So I will show you all that one day. All right, so now that I've got all of that cleaned up, of course, there's lint and stuff behind because my rag is wet. So now, Instead of going over it with a dry rag right now, I am going to go over it with a dry rag, but I'm going to put stainless steel on it. So, I'm going to put stainless steel all of this and on top of my stove. And this will um, make it so pretty and clean, streak free. Um, if you don't have any, I suggest you get some of this. This stuff works good on everything. Stainless steel, leather, granite, and stone. I use it as furniture polish, cooktops, hardware floor, or hardwood floors. I don't use it on the floors though. Metal jewelry, stone floors, like this stuff works good on everything. But of course, I don't use this to like disinfect or anything. I just use it to polish or, um, you know, or the stainless steel. But it works really good, especially on black. Um, microwaves or refrigerators and stuff like that, anything black, because you know you can wipe it and it'll either be streaky or it'll leave the lint residue um, behind. If you do it with the stainless steel and then go back over it with a dry rag, that it will not be streaky or any lint, anything at all. show y'all the top of this stove in just a second once I get it wiped up. Turn this light on, okay. All right, let me get this clean.
right, check this out. You see how clean that is? And it's not streaky or anything. That's good. All right, I'm fixing the bottom. Once I get all of my stainless steel or my appliances uh, wiped off, then I'll start on the counter. So I'm going to wipe off the refrigerator, the toaster oven, and then the dishwasher over here. And once I get done doing that, then I'll start on the countertops. Can you see? to do the countertops. So I'll set you right there. And she has white countertops so they get pretty dirty or stained up so I'm just going to put um, bleach water bleach and a little bit of water. Which the water is going to come from 
from my magic eraser. Magic eraser, and a little bit of bleach. Just gonna wipe these colors off. And also, like the countertop or the cabinets, the front of the cabinets and stuff, if there's ever spot check them in the front of this. And then I'll just take a rag and go back over and wipe all this off. So everything will be sanitized and clean. So, I know y'all know how to clean countertops and everything. I am just showing y'all. Sorry, guys. Um, you know, this is my job. This is what I do every day. So, um, so this is not my house. Just showing you. What I do for a living, I clean houses. So I do all the cabinets and countertops and then, um, you know, wipe down the tables, the blinds, baseboards, things like that. And then the last thing I do is just clean out the sink. And once I get to the sink, I'll show you guys that. Okay, so do you see the sink? All right, we're fixing to clean it. So what I'm going to do is... Rub it down a little bit. And I'm going to spray some all purpose bleach cleaner. And then just take a magic eraser and start cleaning it. And then we're just going to rinse it out. And then we're just going to take a dry clean rag and just start wiping, wiping it all down. And there it is, and I'll go back over um, everything with a dry rag again since this one's wet to kind of shine up all the crumb on there. Just get 
get all of this wiped out dry. Everybody always asks me that, like, how do you get the sinks to look so good? I can't ever get them to look like that. Magic eraser. Magic. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to hold it and do it at the same time. So, yeah, then I would just go back over everything with another dry rag. I mean, that's how we, well, how I clean the sinks. So, here is before it's clean. All right, there we go. Just did the floors. And then this one. And the bathroom. Floors are just mopped. Everything is clean. So, we're getting out of here and headed to the next. And there's the sink all dry and wiped. But, yep. Alright, guys. Y'all remember putting the bugles on your fingernails and nothing like their claws or witch's nails? That's what Brantley just did. Ah! Don't get me! <laughs> Did you have a good day today? Yeah. Good. Oh, Lord. Don't let Georgia get them. <laughs> hey, guys. Fixing to put this pizza in the oven, and I just wanted to show it to you. It's going to be the pan version. Has anybody tried this one yet? Please let me know. I've been seeing it on TV and haven't been able to find it for months. And finally found the Supreme, so I'm excited because I love pan pizza. So I'll let you know what I think after we eat it. But if you have already tried it and they have different flavors where you are, let me know. I am putting Brantley's lunch together for tomorrow. And he has a sandwich. And some chips. And a brownie and a yogurt. And that was his lunch. And then he has one of these um, Capri Suns that I put in there. And that's his little Minecraft lunch box. Just wanted to show y'all what I was doing for his lunch. I got some Granny Smith apples and I'm fixing to dip them in this dip. And that's going to be my snack. Just wanted to show you that. Hey everybody, just got done with our showers and baths and I wanted to show you real quick. We got um, our pumpkins and then we got the stuff to do our pumpkins. So we're going to probably do that tomorrow um, after we get out of school and after work and stuff. But I wanted to show you real quick what we got to do our pumpkins with. So I got this, the this book with the carving kit and it's got all the different faces and stuff on it. I really like the um the treats right here with the pumpkin and the owl but um i'm not for sure which one i'm gonna do yet and then i also got this little thing if brantley wanted to put it on you know the pumpkin instead of carving his so we'll see um yep and then i'm just eating some caramel and apples just standing here eating. Look, y'all, I'm eating my snacks still standing up. I ain't sat down yet. So, been getting everything ready. 
Been getting everything ready for the work week tomorrow. Oh, also, I wanted to tell y'all, my hair in the cleaning video, it was all sticking up in the back. That's how you know I need to go get a haircut, which I am. I have it scheduled for not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Um, you're looking at the pumpkin stuff. So, yeah, the um, after I went back and looked at the video, I was like, well, a friend told me today, this morning, but I had already left. It was already out the door, so there wasn't nothing I could do about it. So, yeah, my hair is all sticking up in the back in that video. All right, guys, we're going to call it a night. I hope you have a good night. Brantley's eating his brownie before he's going to go brush his teeth. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday night.